Hello Year 8. Today we are looking at precipitation reactions. Now you've seen that one of the changes that indicates chemical change is when you put two solutions together or two liquids together and a solid forms. And that's what we're going to look at today. So the first one on your handout sheet is the reaction between lead nitrate and potassium iodide. And we're going to have a look at that. So I'm going to put some lead nitrate into a test tube. <coughs> you don't have to worry about missing out on this reaction because you weren't going to be allowed to do this one anyhow. This is a teacher only reaction. So you can see that the lead nitrate is a colourless solution. Now I'm going to put some potassium iodide into a different test tube. And you can see that's a colourless, it's kind of a little bit yellow. So that's what we're starting with. Now I'm going to pour these two solutions together and watch what happens. Did you see the colour change? Now this looks like paint. But we're going to leave that for a while and come back to look at it later. And you'll be able to see that there's actually a solid in there. So we're going to leave that for a little bit and do some other combinations. <coughs> so the next one we're going to look at is some sodium hydroxide and some silver nitrate. So I'm going to put some sodium hydroxide into the test tube. And you can see that's a colourless solution. Okay, so no colour at all. The silver nitrate is also a colourless solution. It's going to look, the tube's going to look a little bit dark black. And that's because silver nitrate does sometimes leave a little precipitate of silver on things and that makes it look grey. But we're going to put the silver nitrate now into the sodium hydroxide and you can see that we've got a white solution of white substance forming. Now, if we can get a zoom in to the very bottom of that test tube. Can you see a solid? So, you can see that this is a solid being formed from two liquids, so it is a precipitation. All right, let's try another one. Let's try some sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is just salt, and we're going to put that with some zinc nitrate. So we're going to see what happens with those two. So I'm going to get my test tube. I'm going to put some sodium chloride into it. It's just salt. And then I'm going to add some zinc nitrate, and we're going to see what happens. Nothing. See, it doesn't happen all the time. So sometimes you get a precipitate, and that shows you the chemical reactions happen, and sometimes you don't get a precipitate. So you don't have, think that it happens every single time. But let's look at our sodium chloride again. <coughs> and that's our sodium chloride. And let's put that with some silver nitrate instead. There you go, a precipitate. So it's not just that sodium chloride doesn't react, it just depends what two things are reacting here as to whether you get a precipitate. Okay, let's try another one. So let's have sodium iodide. Let's have some sodium iodide this time. And let's put that with some calcium nitrate. <coughs> that's another one that doesn't do anything. But that's okay. Because chemical reactions don't happen for all <coughs> of these. 
So what else should we try? We've got two more left to try. I think we're going to try some iron 3 nitrate. And so maybe some sodium hydroxide. Where's my sodium hydroxide? There it is. So here's my sodium hydroxide. And I'm going to add some iron 3 nitrate to that. You can see there that we, it's kind of hard to tell if that's a solid or not because it's not a very, very thick solution. But if the solution isn't clear, that is, if it's not see through, then there is a solid suspended in it. Okay, so that does make a solid. And we've got time for one more. Let's try some barium nitrate. And we're going to try some sodium hydroxide with that. Oh, there's another one happening. Again, you can't really see the solid, but it's kind of jellyish. Now, I know what you're all thinking. What happens if you put them all together? Let's try it. made it a bit lighter. What if we put this one in? Oh, that seemed to clear it up a little bit. This one. Oh, we're getting that white through there. I think that'll, I think that'll do. Now, let's go back to that first one we looked at. Can we see, if we get up really close, that now the solution is getting a little bit clearer up the top and the solid is dropping down to the bottom. Okay, this actually shows that what we've got here is a yellow solid, but it's spread through a clear solution. Okay, so there's definitely two products in this reaction, the solid and the clear solution. The solid is called lead iodide and the clear solution is, uh, we start with potassium, potassium nitrate. Okay, so that's your precipitation crack. Go through your sheet now and fill in all the bits that you need to fill in. I'll see you in the next video.